YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another play review on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out the new Make Your Mark SPC card for Gulen. Arda Gulen is a 95 rated card. He has high, medium work rates, left footed with five star skill moves and four star weak foot. Now, we do see a bit of versatility with the card, which is always great to see. He can play the center attacking mid, center mid, and right wing positions. And if we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is pretty well rounded. He is Hula Gang with the lowest stat being 80 for his defending. And as you guys can see, man, the card is very very good technically his shooting passing and dribbling are probably going to be the three standout stats now he does have 91 pace with 94 acceleration and 88 sprint speed if you do want to go ahead and use him in a very advanced position that's okay i would probably still recommend a chem style to make him even more quick in game now the 92 shooting is another stat that i would look to go ahead and improve with the specific chemistry style he has great shot power and long shots at 95 and 96 but he does only have 89 attacking positioning and 89 finishing so with the way that the card is set up the hawk might be a really good option the hunter might be a good option as well the 95 passing and 96 dribbling are going to be two really important stats, especially if you do want to go ahead and play him as a center attacking mid or center mid. He does have two playstyle pluses that do revolve around his passing, so you can most definitely expect his passing to be really accurate in game. 96 short pass, 94 long pass, and 99 curve. And when you go ahead and pair that with this dribbling, ladies and gentlemen, I think that you can create so many chances with this card. He does have 97 agility and 98 bounce. He should be very quick and swift on the ball. The only thing that might kind of bring down his dribbling a little bit is the fact that he does have 88 reactions but I don't see that being that big of an issue. Now, if you do want to go ahead and use him as a more advanced center mid, he does have AD defending, which isn't half bad. I think that if you run the 4-3-2-1 formation, he can go ahead and be the more attacking minded center mid where he's almost like another center forward. And then last but not least, boys, 82 physical for the card is okay. He does have really good stamina at 96, but then the 77 strength and 78 aggression aren't great. And as you guys know, with the Make Your Mark promo, these cards do have the potential of getting a plus two upgrade. If Arda Guler can get two goals or two assists during the Euros, he will get a plus one one upgrade and if he does end up making five appearances he will get another plus one upgrade so the card does have the potential of becoming a 97 rated card but i think like a 96 would be a little bit more realistic now if we jump on over to footbin boys we can see that arda guler does have 11 different play styles he has the incisive pass long ball pass technical and first touch play style pluses so you guys can already see man technically he is going to be very good in game the technical play style plus is really good the long ball pass and incisive pass two really good ones for him to have as well and then he does also have the finesse shot dead ball Tiki Taka whipped pass flare press proven and quick step now when it comes to chemistry styles boys there's probably two options that are going to work really well with the card now we know that his passing and that his dribbling are two really good stats already so I would lean more towards improving the pace and shooting so I would probably go ahead and recommend the hunter chem style with the hunter he is going to have the mostly explosive acceleration type he is going to have 97 pace overall with 99 acceleration and 96 sprint speed and it's also going to give him 97 shooting overall 93 attacking position 97 finishing and 99 shot power should be a lot more clinical in game if you're maybe worried about his physicality you can go ahead and give him the hot chemistry style with the hockey is going to have 95 pace and 96 shooting and then it's also going to give him 86 physical with 81 strength and 86 aggression again probably won't be very strong in game but it is a decent upgrade and as you guys can see the cost of the spc is looking to be around 190,000 coins there are two requirements with an 86 and an 88 rated team i honestly think it's pretty good value as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 player reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new arda guler card we're going to be playing him as the right sided center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using the new arda guler card and i must say i'm actually really excited to test them out we're coming up against berbatov chavi simons adayemi almiron sobas live McAllister. it's an okay team but yeah man the plan is to go ahead and use him as a right side Sided center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation. Now there's a lot of versatility with the card. You can use him as a center attacking mid. You can use him as a center mid. But in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and use him as a right sided center forward. I think that technically he is gonna be very good. And then with the hunter chem style, should be very clinical as well. Now, first things first, boys. I do want to go ahead and test out the card's dribbling. He does have the technical play style plus, which is really nice and really high dribbling stats. And as you guys can see, he is very quick and swift on the ball. I think that that's probably gonna be the standout stat, huge part to his game. He does also have five star skill moves with the hunter. He does seem to be quite quick we'll go for a finesse shot it's not a bad attempt i think that i maybe just could have created a little bit better of an angle now we do want him to get into really good areas convert a lot of chances but i do also want to go ahead and create a lot of chances with guler as you guys know he does have the long ball pass play style plus and then also the incisive pass play style plus all right the guler really good attacking positioning right here i'm gonna go ahead and incorporate the technical play style plus just gonna run the, towards the byline cutback 
It's good, man. It's a very simple goal, but again, on the ball, he does feel very good. I think you're going to be able to create a lot of chances with him. Now, I just checked on foot, but boys, Arda Guler does have the average and lean body type, which is a pretty decent body type for him to have. He does seem to have a bit of a smaller build in game. Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and switch it with Havertz. And I'm probably just going to play it first time. Yeah, Guler, we're going to go ahead and take our space. The acceleration is really nice. I'm just going to run in a straight line. Five star skill moves. Incorporate the left stick dribbling. Now, the only dribbling stat that is kind of low is his reactions a little bit. We'll go for a Trivella out of the goal there. It's good, man. Good left stick dribbling. A really nice finish as well. And like I said, man, with the Hunter Kemp style, we do need him to be very clinical. That was a really nice finish. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And in game number two, we do have to jump into some division rivals because we don't have any more foot champs games. We're coming up against Barcola, Drugba, Salah, Rabiot, a very strong team. Oh, that's a good tackle right there. Now, we can go ahead and spring into a counter attack. And Guler on the counter should be quite effective. Really good attacking positioning again. Might look for a cutback. I might go for a finesse shot. Bit of a tight angle. Marquez with the block. Boys, I, ca I can't even blame him. I'm pretty sure that's my aim. It might be his four-star weak foot, but I'm pretty sure it's my aim. Tackle by Wambasaka. Now, we got a little bit of space down this right-hand side, and I can maybe try to get Goulet in behind again. I want to test out his sprint speed a little bit more. Got a nacho with an over-top through wall. Really nice. And again, man, he picks up really good pockets of space. I'm going to whip it in. Sorolet with the power shot. I honestly do not know. I don't know what that touch is from Sorolet, man, but the pass was really good. Wambasaka, nice. Guler, little step over right there. Technical play style plus. He isn't really stepping with his center backs. It's a good ball into Rodri. Finish. We'll take it, boys. As a playmaker, he has been really good. Akanji, nice. Casemiro, we got Sorloth in a little bit of space. Guler is making that run. We just have to time it. His attacking position has been good. Rodri played into Garnacho first. It's a good touch. Come on, boys. We'll look for the cutback. Arda Guler with the finesse shot. It's a decent attempt. He does have the finesse shot play style, and I feel like it has been quite effective so far. Oh, Rodri, that's a good interception. Guler with good attacking positioning. Touch, touch. Look for the cutback. Arda Guler, man, his passing has been so accurate, boys. Once you get him into really good areas, you can go ahead and create so many chances with him. And I will say that final ball has just been so accurate. He doesn't really misplace any passes, which is really nice. I think that the addition of the incisive pass play style plus alongside the long ball pass play style plus has been really, really effective so far. Five star skill moves. Ooh, I will say, man, he is a little bit weak on the ball from time to time, but we do get a little bit of jam. Arda Guler, nice, all the way. I want to maybe test out like another finesse shot with him. Ball roll, finesse shot. Arda Guler, it's not bad, boys. I think that his long shots aren't anything too crazy, but you can most definitely incorporate them from time to time. Declan Rice, we're going to go ahead and play to Garnacho, and I might try to go long. Switch it up a little bit. Arda Guler, Garnacho's making a really good run. We're going to go over top. Four-star weak foot. It's a lovely pass, man. His over top through balls have been incredible so far. Cut back, one more. Arda Guler, four-star weak foot. It's a decent attempt, and I do think that his finishing is a little bit inconsistent, but it isn't bad. Now, we do have a free kick with Guler. I'm not crazy at free kicks, but we'll give it a try. Maybe put a little bit too much power behind it. Guler? Come on, man. Come on, man. It's like he has the dead ball play style plus. That's a lovely finish. Sort of left. We're going to go ahead and switch it. Guler with a little bit of space. Let's try to... I want to maybe try to overload the right-hand side a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and attack with Wambasaka over top. It's good. Guler touch. The touch is actually not half bad right there. Maybe could have taken it into his stride a little bit better. Guler, left stick dribbling. Five-star skill moves. Still with it. He's not really stepping with the center back. Nice little step over right there. He's moved his goalkeeper, man. That's definitely my bad. But the acceleration to beat him was nice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Make Your Mark Arta Gulek card in a few games of Foot Champions and Division Rivals. And to be completely honest, man, a really good SPC to go ahead and complete. Now, as you guys know, in order to complete the SPC, there are two different requirements. And you are looking at around 180,000 coins. And for that price, man, I think that you're getting a really solid card. Now, if we go ahead and dissect this in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the Hunter Chem Style. And I feel like this is probably the best Chem Style for him because his pace and shooting can be a lot better. And I do think that with the Hunter Chem Style, he was very quick in-game. And he was also very clinical the only letdown maybe when it comes to his shooting is the fact that he has four star weak foot but other than that man his finishing was quite solid in game and then his long shots are definitely a threat as well the 95 passing and 96 dribbling were the two standout stats in my opinion man i think that if you go ahead and play him as a center attacking mid in game you can create so many chances with him because he does have the long ball pass play style plus you can also go ahead and use him as like a deeper center mid but i do think that he's probably best suited as a cam now when it comes to his 96 dribbling he does have a little bit lower reactions compared to the rest of his dribbling stats but 
but I honestly didn't see it being that big of a problem. His dribbling was still very good in game. He is extremely quick and swift on the ball with a, with a bit of a smaller build in game. Now, because he does have AD defending, I think that if you run the 4-3-2-1 formation, you can go ahead and use him as like a right side of center mid where he is the more attacking minded center mid. And then last but not least, boys, the 82 physical. Now, I will say if you want, you can go ahead and give him the hot chemistry style to help out with the strength and aggression a little bit because in the games that we did use him, he wasn't very strong on the ball, but he is a little bit jammy. He does get a lot of things to go his way. Overall, boys, I'm going to go ahead and give the card in the SBC like a 9.2 out of 10 rating. I really enjoyed using him as a right side and center forward. I think that there's a lot of versatility with the card. You can use him as a right side and center forward. You can use him as a right wing center attacking mid center mid. I feel like the technical side to his game is incredible when it comes to his shooting, his passing and his dribbling. The physical side maybe does lack a little bit. His pace is really good with the quick step and the Hunter Kemp style, but the, but the strength and aggression isn't great. And as you guys know, he does have the potential of getting a plus two upgrade. Now, I do think that it's very realistic to, for him to become a 96 rated card. If I had to compare him with a specific type of player, I do think that he's really similar to the showdown as a card. And as you guys know, as I did end up getting the plus two upgrade and now is a 95 rated card. Both cards are really similar in my opinion. Technically, they are both really good. They both have five star skill moves. The play style pluses that they do have are really effective as well. I think that if you already completed as you can go ahead and just stick with him. But if you didn't complete as and you're looking for a similar player that's really good on the ball that can create you a lot of chances, I do think that this Arda Guler card is a fantastic option. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Boys, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Booba, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.